Now if your organization is set up and connected to a Microsoft Exchange server and you're the type of person that loves leaving all your emails within the inbox and you get tons or hundreds of them or thousands, you may have, if not shortly, receive an email or a phone call from your IT person saying, look, you're taking up too much server space, get rid of some of your email. In other words, as long as the email is sitting in the inbox, it's actually sitting on the server and taking up space. So what you want to do is you want to create a data file, in other words, an additional folder over here where you can move all the emails or messages from out of the inbox into that folder which will be stored locally on your computer. And even if you're not connected to a Microsoft Exchange server and you want to create another folder to store additional items uh, like your calendar, contacts, tasks, and notes, well, I'll show you how to do it. Come up here and click on the File menu, go down to New, and then over and down to Outlook Data File. You get two types of personal storage. You have the default here selected, the Office Outlook Personal Folders file with the .pst extension. If you want to learn more about extensions, then I recommend you watch my Windows Vista training videos. And you can read the description down below of what that personal folder file can handle or hold. And then you have Outlook 97 through 2002. I usually go with the defaults here, the uh, Office Outlook Personal Folder file, and click OK. You can see I already created quite a few here. I'm going to name this one storage and then hit enter. Now that was the name of the file. This is going to be actually the name of the folder and we'll call it our holding folder where we can hold all the messages and items until we can figure out what we want to do with it. Now before you click OK you can apply a password to it. When you apply a password every time you open up Outlook it's going to ask you for the password. However, if you put in a password and you check save this password in your password list every time you open up Outlook, it won't ask you for the password. Now what's the purpose of that? Well, as you saw when we saved that storage PST file, if somebody else tries to access that, but not through your Outlook program, then they'll have to have a password. This one just says you don't need a password as long as you're opening it up on your computer through your Outlook program. Now I don't want to type a password every time I open up my Outlook program, so I'm okay with this. I'll go ahead and click OK. And there it is, my personal folders holding. You can click on the plus sign, expand it. That holding folder also has a deleted items folder. So anything I delete within the holding folder goes right to the deleted items folder. Just like you see up here, you have a mailbox folder. Anything you delete from these folders will go right to the deleted items folder here. You have search folders for your mailbox folder and all the items here, and you have a search folder for your holding folder and any additional folders you care to add as a subfolder to your holdings folder. Now that we have our holdings folder created, I can go to my inbox here and then move stuff off of it by clicking, well, let's do this one, click and drag this to my holding folder, go to my holding folder, and there it is. It's now off the server, it's no longer in the inbox, so I hopefully won't get any more complaints from the IT department. And then when I find time, I can come in here and pick what I want to do with this, either create additional folders, which you can do by right-clicking and going down to New Folder. And again, we already covered this in the previous training videos on how to create new folders, and this could be for projects. And it's going to be for email messages only. Of course, I have my holding folder selected here, so when I click OK, it's going to add the projects folder down there so I can click and drag Carrie and put her in the projects folder and again organize it any way I want just to make sure as far as the uh, IT person is concerned we get our messages out of the inbox now again if you're not connected to a Microsoft Exchange server and you're set up let's say in your own home office you won't have to worry about this you may just want to create your own additional folders here as a way to organize uh, your email items your contacts Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.